What does that what does that say about a country that a third of your budget has to go on health care? Why is that? It's because people don't have jobs that pay them enough to maintain a decent level of health. They're not eating proper food, you know? That's Well, people start dying when you go under a national health service. Yeah, absolutely. Um <laughs> Alex Salmond and David Cameron, there's two cheeks on the same arse. That's all I can say, you know. I'm not a big fan of Alex Salmond. Um, I was never a, never a big supporter of the, the Scottish National Party, to be honest. When I was a younger man, I supported the Labour Party. Of course, when I got older and wiser, I just realised, naive. You know, but when you're younger, what, what do young people think about when they're not that interested in politics if you're a young man there's two things you're interested in let's not say them well it's women and maybe sport me i love to play football or soccer as y'all call it see with me i wasn't interested in sports it was just one thing <laughs> I, I, thought I'd, I thought i'd clean it up you know uh, yeah yeah <laughs> now here's 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 another thing this isn't really to do with scottish independence but this is just another thing of of how these people work I remember when, when Maggie Thatcher was uh, was Prime Minister, they started privatising all the national assets, like the gas and the water and the electricity, and they offered the British people shares, you know, you want to be a shareholder? And all they want to be yuppies back then said, oh yeah, I want to buy shares. Oh look, I'm a shareholder in BT. Well, big deal, you know. But further down the line, of course, they're tempted into selling their shit because they're offered such a great price, they'll sell them and they'll maybe double their money. But what happens then? That ownership is then concentrated. Now, what happened, I'll give you one example that sticks in, in my mind, is South East Water Authority in England was bought over by a French company. Now, what can a government allows a foreign entity to buy something like... Well, that's it. Water? That's why... The globalists want to have their own orchestrated breakaways in countries, but then it goes under a new conglomerate. If you if a country breaks away to its original state and it's based on culture, it tends to have a chance of actually doing something better. I mean, this is all a big experiment, but exactly. The UK has already got 83% of its laws on record made by the EU that is literally Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. Exactly. So you're forced to secede just because even if you wanted to stay in the UK, it's been conquered. Yeah. And, I, and you know, I really like Nigel Farage and UKIP and the rest of them, but, you know, they're even pro-Crown. Their argument is, well, it's better than the EU, which is our new king and queen. So I get that at a certain level. But at the same time, UKIP's got to support you guys because they are the Independence Party. And now all these other states want to get out of the EU and Europe. Uh, and, and what do you think of the rest of the world looking at Scotland, Catalonia and Spain, Texas, a bunch of other places are now wanting to secede watching what the Scots are doing? More power to them. I mean, what greater gift can a, a human being have than the right of self-determination? Now you just mentioned something there, uh, the, the the UKIP thing. Uh, the Scottish, the, even even if Scotland gets independence, we're still going to be a part of the EU. To me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I've heard that there's supposed to be a referendum on that further down the line. Exactly. And you you pull that. out, you pull out of the uh, of the UK, then you pull out of the EU. Yeah. We were we were lied to about it was co the common market back then. I admit it was. They just said it was a trade deal. Yeah. And did you get jobs from it? No. The jobs went away. On we, we didn't. No. Just like NAFTA and GATT. Absolutely. The farmers lost work. It is you know same. You know what? Different. You know what? Yeah. I mean, it, it is just a same globalist mercantile scam. Look, when England ran. The colonies, they wouldn't let us have manufactured goods. We had to send it back to England and then buy it back yeah. as a way to control people. And that was the main reason for the war. It wasn't even the taxes, is that they wouldn't let us have industry. Yeah. This is how the globalists control things. Now they've just moved everything to China, out of the U.S., out of even Mexico, out of uh, Scotland, out of Ireland. This is how they control. They go, oh, you're going to be a service economy now. Yeah. <laughs> and then now that's not even working. No, it's, it's pathetic. Well, look, we have to buy local, we have to be sovereign, we have to vote with our dollars. Doesn't mean any of us are perfect, but that's how you grow an economy. Yeah. You're familiar with the name Chuck Harder? Yes. Yeah. Well, Chuck Harder made a very important point one time. I've wanted to get him on the show. Yeah. He, he's, he's really the proto Rush Limbaugh. There's, there's three things that a society needs in order to thrive, and that is manufacturing, mining, and agriculture. And if you, if you don't have those three things, to a certain degree, then... 
you, you ain't going to survive. And under globalism, they don't want any country to have all three or even no, two of those. Absolutely. Because they want to, the globalist control from outside with their deals who can get what? Yeah. And this is what people in Scotland need to realize. Now, another interesting aspect of this is the voting age for this particular thing, this referendum, uh, is being dropped to 16 years old. I'm just hoping that they're wise enough and well enough informed that they're going to vote the right way. Well, I've been seeing the news, though, that, that targets young people. It's all, stay in the UK, stay in the... Yeah, it's a bunch of brainwashing. You know, I, over the years, I, I left Scotland in... Uh, in 1969, when my, when my folks split up, and I ended up in England, and over the years, as I was travelling up home to visit, I could just see the industrial landscape deteriorating year after year. And, and it, also in Northern England, look at Sheffield. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Sheffield, the steel industry, that was a massive industry in Sheffield years ago. But they're not allowed to have any of it now and had to all move to India because of carbon taxes, and India pays none, and then the UN head, Pachari, made the money. Ah, oh, isn't that loving? This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Our big story. Gun owners react as politicians continue to ban high-capacity magazines state by state. I think that these weapons ought to be stopped. Magazine restrictions have already happened in nine states. Staffed with formal special operations personnel, GunMagWarehouse.com is the only company that specializes in gun magazines. GunMagWarehouse.com has the largest selection of the magazines you should stock up on. Go now to GunMagWarehouse.com before it happens in your state. Get it before you regret it. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. You have the power. Humanity has the power. We have the power. Do you want to fight? You better believe you got one. Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty. It's Alex Jones. John is our guest. I've just run into this guy for more than 10 years. It's got to be. He can probably remember at pro-gun rallies, you name it. He goes out and holds up signs in front of the city council all the time. He's really active. And then I thought, why don't have him do a promo, you know, promoting liberty? So he does that. Uh, and uh, he's here with us. By the way, I'm going to give you a bottle of this OxyPower. This, I've been taking it two weeks, three or four nights a week now. 
absolutely flushes out your guts like nothing I've ever seen. We're selling it at InfoWarsLife.com, discounted directly from Dr. Group. He has all the proprietary documentation on it at InfoWarsLife.com. Your purchases of X2, nascent iodine, your purchases of Super Male Vitality, Silver Bullet, all of it is absolutely essential. And with all these new viruses and mutated things popping up, now is the time to get your gut in line. It's 80% of your immune system, most scientists agree, and medical doctors. It's so key. This is why I'm getting so much into health. Plus, we fund our operation with high-quality supplements and products. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Scott, it's John. You want me to give you a bottle of this Oxy powder? Why not, sir? All right, here's a bottle. Hey, so you got to promise to take it I'm and call and tell me what happens. Yes, sir. Now, I'd only take a few at first. I'll keep a log. Because uh, you're going to no, think... No, no uh, pun intended. I'll keep a log. It, it, it'll uh, absolutely... Well, you write love letters to the Queen of England with it. The point is, is that... You were telling me a really bad joke about the Queen of England. <laughs> Do you have any family-friendly ones? Look, for me, a woman wearing a diamond headdress and then to have world leaders bowing to her, I want to vomit when Obama does it to the Saudi king or her. My ancestors fought to not be under a monarch. It makes me want to puke. I mean, and nothing against England. I mean, I got a lot of English, you know, uh, Welsh bl blood, myself proud of it. You know, one of my ancestors... Uh, Gresham invented the stock exchange on record. I had a British family came over on the Mayflower, both sides. It's just at the same time, the people of England don't want to be under the EU and, and you know, under the Queenie. What is the argument to stay under the Queenie? Here's your bottle. Uh, it's, it's brainwashing. Some, some people think... The new royal baby's yeah. coming. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am about that, Alex. Wouldn't you go into overdrive? Uh, they have over 100 palaces. I know, eh? Yeah. They have three private trains, over 100 aircraft. But, but then old people are being cut off their gas in the middle of winter. Well, I think Prince Philip... The royalty! I think Prince Philip will be delighted because apparently he's very fond of children, if you get my drift. Well, he does, he does publicly, like, like if a light bulb's out on TV, they won't let him on live television. They go... That light bulb is out. Is a black in the area? Must have been a black if a light bulb's out. Uh, and, of course, he was he's basically a Nazi. You know that, right? He's a eugenicist. Yes. And his cousin, Prince Bernhard, was an SS yeah. officer. Do you, know, do you know how I found that out? I was listening to you one time, and I heard you say that he was German. And I said, you sure? Because we grew up, and his nickname was Phil the Greek. Now, of course, because he was the basically the prince yeah. uh, over... Uh, the Greek island at the time, Cyprus. There you go. But yeah, after I heard you saying that, yeah, I researched it. And yeah, sure enough, he's a crowd. Yeah. Well, they're always saying that... Uh, yeah, I've got to apologize to the Germans for that because I haven't met any Germans that I didn't like. Oh, exactly. Well, he, but the thing is, he's not even a crowd. I know. He's Transylvanian. Yeah. He's Romanian. He's a schmuck. God oh man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I used to love those people. Well, I, well, you know, the king of England who had to advocate in World War II, it wasn't over him marrying an American woman. Yeah. It's because he went. He had to that, flee Germany yeah. when the bombing started. Yeah. I mean, there's all the photos with him Levy Dove and Hitler. Yeah. You know, when I when I lived in London, I used to work. A, I, I worked in catering because as an actor, you had to be very flexible. So working catering gave you that flexibility to be to be free. So I used to work lots of functions where I'd be serving the royal family, members of parliament. I didn't know that. I used to work in the House of Parliament. I'll tell you a funny story about the House of Parliament. Let's do five more minutes. I want to hear some of these stories. Right. And we'll have you back sometime. Uh, Scottish Independence next week. Tell me your gut. Okay. Tell me your gut. Are, are they going to vote to leave the UK? I hope so. I hope. What does your gut tell you? Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> right this back, is folks. GCN, Stay the Genesis us. Communication Radio Network. some scotch whiskey out now. <laughs> In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what...
propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it.